I now have the pleasure of introducing to you our undergraduate student speaker, Daniel Wong. Daniel is graduating with a BS in electrical engineering. <clears throat> While a student in the Watson School, he impressed faculty, staff, and his fellow students, who describe him as intelligent, hardworking, amiable, and polite. One professor, Sean Choi, told me that Daniel has great potential for research, and he described how Daniel was dealing with a particularly difficult design project, and all of his designs uh, were failing throughout the semester until the very end of the semester. Some of you undergraduates may relate to this. Uh, right before our presentation day, he got it right. And Professor Choi says to quote, Daniel has one of the most crucial qualities as a researcher, persistence. Daniel is the recipient of the Lockheed Martin Honors Scholarship, a member of Tau Beta Pi Engineering Honor Society, and he has made the Dean's List every semester at Binghamton University. Please give a warm welcome to Daniel Wong. Thank you for the, uh, the wonderful introduction, although we probably could have left out the fact that I failed most of the semester. <laughs> it is such an honor to be speaking to you all today. No, it, it's, it's probably a miracle. In fact, I wouldn't be here without the inspiration of my good friend, uh, Mike Kennedy, for motivating me to even apply to speak. There you are. <laughs> Today, I will be sharing with you my experiences here while studying engineering at Binghamton University and the most important lesson I learned. But before I start, let's take another moment to congratulate the Watson School class of 2014. And, and graduates, let's take a moment to thank all those for their support. Family, friends, faculty and professors, TI-84 calculators, <laughs> Yahoo Answers, Wikipedia. Standing here today, ready to graduate, I can't help but feel like it was just, I was just starting out yesterday. There I was, ready to get involved in clubs or hang out with friends and explore the freedom college had to offer. I was even ready to be a typical engineering student and have every class in the beautiful engineering building on campus. It didn't, even, it didn't take me long to realize that engineers never really have class in the engineering building. And there's not really that much time for getting involved in clubs, hanging out with friends, or having much fun. <laughs> but looking back through my college career, I have truly enjoyed my time at Binghamton. Back when I was a sophomore, I applied to be a tour guide. I wanted to show prospective students how great my first year had been. And you'd think that such a charming and dashing fellow such as myself would have gotten the position instantly. However, it turns out that they don't really want tour guides. They only talk about how great engineering is. But how could I not feel this way? As engineers, we're the ones who will design the technology of tomorrow and solve all of the world's problems. Engineers will not only save humanity, but also provide the means for our world to thrive. And I'd be lying if I didn't feel a little entitled to a job or an internship, or at least a summer where I didn't have to work at a pizzeria. <laughs> Through all the hard work of our undergraduate education, we persevere, and the opportunity to meet so many of my fellow engineers through group projects, talking at professional events, and you know, collaborating a little too much on homework has made me realize one incredible thing. Watson engineers are some of the smartest and most talented people I've ever met. And not only that, but also some of the greatest innovators and biggest dreamers of our time. I stand here and look upon my fellow classmates. I see entrepreneurs and CEOs, astronauts, lawyers, scientists, and professors. I see web designers, innovators, inventors, 
or, people, or ones that serve and protect our nation in the armed forces. Or some like myself simply aspire to marry rich. <laughs> but how on earth do we get to where we want to be in the future? Throughout our education, the road to success was pretty clear. Study hard, take tests, do projects, and get relatively good grades. We didn't even have to worry about class registration because all of our classes were conveniently chosen for us. <laughs> but as we leave here as graduates, there are no requirements, guidelines, or grades to tell us how to lead our lives. And that's okay because you don't need to follow a rubric to fulfill your passions and dreams. Whether you're preparing or looking for a job or going to graduate school, you want to start a business or kickstart a project or simply travel the world, the one thing you need to do is to spend every day moving closer towards your goals. We are all capable of accomplishing great things as long as you're stepping in the right direction. So don't wait for a professor to sign a cool project. Take the initiative to start one yourself. And if you want to invent the next cool device, develop the first prototype. If you want to write the next viral app, write that first line of code. If you want to start your own business, call the first client. Or if you want, finally want to see what's the hype of Game of Thrones, legally download all four seasons. <laughs> Binghamton University has helped us grow into the smart and talented individuals we have become. But what will you do in order to lead a successful career? And what will you do to lead a fulfilling life? Remember that you can take ownership of the goals you want to achieve. Thank you, and congrats again to the Watson class of 2014.